really looking forward to our match tonight. I know the fans are really looking forward to seeing us go one-on-one. -on -one. So I say let's go out there and give them what they want, all right? See you out there. Late. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of WWE SmackDown. Along with my broadcast partner, Taz, I'm Michael Cole. And what a show we've got in store for you tonight. In fact, we're going to kick it off right now with some singles action featuring this man and Rey Mysterio going one-on-one. -on -one. That's right. This matchup is going to put two of the most dynamic superstars on the SmackDown roster against each other. And I, for one, can't wait to see it. Buckle up, because when Rey Mysterio steps into the squared circle, you know you're gonna be in for some high-flying action. It's a sold-out crowd tonight in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Michael Cole and Taz here, and what a show we've got for you tonight. Oh, man, I'll tell you, it's always great to be back in Philly. No doubt about that, Paul. You know, I got a little bit of history in this town. You know what I'm saying. The city of brotherly love might have been the hometown of ECW, but I think the SmackDown superstars are going to redefine extreme here tonight. Cole, no doubt the WWE fans, they love John Cena. I get that. But this is not a popularity contest. It's a physical athletic competition. I don't think Cena's got any problem being physical either, Taz. There aren't many superstars who've accomplished what he has between those ropes. He dodged that bullet. He's got him covered. One, two. Wow, talk about cutting it close. That was almost three. This has been a great match so far. And I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Well, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. I've been locked in this hole before, and it hurts even worse than it looks. I can't even imagine the amount of pain that this hole must inflict on any superstar who winds up in it. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. Looks like he's going for it. He sure is. The STFU is locked in. There's a submission hole. I've seen a lot of superstars tap out to this one, Cole. You and me both, partner, and we might be about to see another one right here. What a counter that was. You know, Cole, I asked you who you were pulling for this match, and I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole. I know it ain't exactly Cole. I think these fans know what's coming next. You know it, Cole. The FU. Man, get a load of that power. I think we're hearing the first amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. This could be free right here.
What a show of respect from Rey Mysterio. Now that's what I call a match, dog. Hey, what do you think about you and me teaming up and making a run for the tag team titles? Hey, hey look who it is. The tag team champions, Eminem. Let me get this straight. Mysterio, you want to make a run at our tag team titles? Well, sorry to inform you, little buddy, but you've got to be this high to ride this ride. Yeah, and besides, having champions like Eminem brings the kind of real Hollywood class to SmackDown that it desperately needs. There's no way that Teddy Long would let you two jokers even try to take these titles from us. You'll never be true stars like Mercury, Nitro, and Molina. What's up, player? It's your favorite GM, and I'm calling to congratulate you on the match that you and Mysterio just had out there, dog. Now, that's just the kind of action SmackDown needs to stay competitive with Raw. You feel me? And speaking of that, WrestleMania is less than a month away, and I want you and Mysterio in the picture. So if you two want to team up and go for the tag team titles, I'd love to see it. Next week, It'll be you and Mysterio in a non-title match against the tag team champions, Nitro and Mercury. You beat them in that match, and you're going to WrestleMania, player, no matter what Eminem says. Holla, holla, holla. Rey Mysterio is a multiple-time tag team champion, Taz. You've got to think that that improves his team's chances for victory here tonight in this number one contender match. Absolutely. Anytime you got a guy there who's won gold, you got to consider him a major threat. And Eminem might laugh at Mysterio in public, but if they want to hang out those titles, then they better take them seriously when they get in the ring with them for this matchup. Kaz, what's the psychological advantage of earning a number one contender spot by defeating the current champions in a non-title match? It's huge. If you're already beat him once, you know you got their number. But Eminem is not exactly pushovers. Even if they lost their titles here tonight, you can bet that they're going to pick up a few ideas on how to take these guys on at WrestleMania. Of it, the tag team champions don't look like they're in any shape to compete tonight. 
No kidding. I mean, not for nothing. Who shows up looking like this for a match? Dudes, we hate to do this to you, but we were out way too late last night at this exclusive Hollywood premiere. Representing SmackDown, of course. Yeah, man, you should have been there. What a party. Everyone was there. Ashton, Joaquin, Tom, Brad, and even that guy who used to work here. Jennifer and Angelina almost got into this huge fight. It was awesome! But anyway, we're, we're obviously in no shape to give these fans the match they deserve. <coughs> so we talked to Teddy Long, and he said we could postpone the number one contender match until next week. Yeah, I know, I know. We hate to let down our fans like that. But listen, since you're out there, we found a couple guys that you can face instead. You know, like practice or whatever. They volunteered to help out because they got a screenplay that we're shopping around Hollywood for them. And don't worry, we'll definitely see you next week for that number one contender match. You gotta be kidding me. The Mexican girls have a screenplay that Eminem's trying to sell for them. What's so weird about it? I'm sure the Mexicans have, uh, you know, got a couple of interesting stories to tell. I, I guess so, Taz. Nonetheless, Psychosis and Super Crazy seem to be more than ready to substitute for Eminem here tonight since the champions have apparently backed out of this match. Listen to that crowd. This is Michael Cole with Taz at Ringside, bringing you SmackDown action from Seattle, Washington. They're already going crazy, and the action hasn't even started yet. You know the night show is going to be awful. No question. The SmackDown superstars never fail to bring the house down, and Seattle will never be the same after tonight. He dodged that bullet. the match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. If you decide to shut that gap for a few seconds, you're going to have to enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. This is the reversal. This is one of those true international superstars. This guy is defeated. He wants his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hole. And that means you gotta either dig deep and find a way to break it, or you gotta just right out. Nice kick, Cal. You know, Paul, I'd ask you who you were pulled for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claimed to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Paul. I know it ain't exactly crucial, cool but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. Taz, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing. But cheating to steal a victory and enhance your own career is something completely different. His opponent is helpless, and he's going to work with that ball. Talk about physical dominance. Oh, man, this is nasty. Old school forearm, and he's grinding it right across the face. That hurts like a sucker gun, believe it.
Here are your winners. What's up, player? It's Theodore Long again. Listen, I'm sorry about what went down last week with Eminem backing out of your match. Yes, I did give Eminem the night off, but I was just looking out for your best interest, though. See, I didn't want anyone accusing you and Ray of getting a title opportunity from them when they weren't 100%. Plus, I've got to be honest with you. Hey, I've been working on a little screenplay that Eminem have been shopping around for me. See, listen, it's a story about a boy, his dog, and a race around the world for some stolen jewels that... Oh, my bad. But anyway, enough about that. Tonight, you've definitely got your number one contenders match against Eminem. And if you win, it's WrestleMania for you, player. Well, it was postponed by a week, but tonight we're finally going to see the number one contender match against Eminem for a WrestleMania tag team title match. And look at Mysterio. I have never seen him as pumped up as he is here tonight. Ray's ready to go, and this is going to be one hell of a fight, no doubt. Kaz, you have to be impressed with how well he and Mysterio have been working together, considering that they just teamed up a few weeks ago. That's the mark of a true superstar. When a title opportunity comes your way, you step up to the plate and you get with the program real quick, or you wind up at the bottom of the food chain. Mercury doesn't look so good. Come on, what's going on now? Don't tell me Eminem are backing out of another match. Okay, so what's my motivation again? I told you, Joey. Your back is thrown out, remember? You're in pain. Now get into character, or do we have to rely on method acting? Ow! What are they doing up there? They're supposed to be in the ring by now. Ooh, ow. Hey, dudes, I know you're not gonna believe this, but I'm in some serious pain here. Yeah, Mercury won't tell me exactly what happened, but he was hanging out with Brittany last night and he showed up tonight with his back all thrown out. Yoga, we were doing yoga together? Yeah, if that's what you want to call it. So, gosh, we're obviously not gonna be up to having that number one contender match tonight, but we don't want anyone saying that Eminem runs from a fight. So let's just make this a singles match with managers. Then, we'll have that number one contender match next week, right before WrestleMania. We promise. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a sold out show here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at Ringside. Man, you couldn't fit another fan in here with a crowbar, I'm telling you. There's a whole lot of cheese heads in the house tonight. It sure is. We may know that they're about to see the greatest superstars in all of sports entertainment. I can't wait to get started. And here's the reversal.
These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see that the WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, that's the case. Uh, look at that submission. I ain't never seen it executed better. Neither have I, partner. And this might be enough for the tap out right here. Taz, it doesn't seem to me as if Mercury's back was giving him too much trouble during that match. What? Are you a doctor now? How can you just go and call the guy a liar without any proof? Besides, Eminem said they're gonna have the number one contender match next week. So what's the big deal? Hey, better. Next week is the last week before WrestleMania. If it doesn't happen next week on SmackDown, it's not going to happen. This is Mysterio's last chance to earn number one contender status for himself and his partner for the tag team titles before WrestleMania. Yeah, no pressure or nothing, right? But seriously, I spoke to Ray earlier today, and not for nothing, he is ready to rock. He knows what he needs to do to go on to WrestleMania. Did you read his quotes in the latest WWE.com article, Taz? I think it's safe to say he's getting a little tired of Eminem weaseling out of their number one contender matches. And I can't say I blame him. Take a few deep breaths there, sweet cheeks. I understand his frustration, but he's about to have the match. So I don't know what he's complaining about. I hope you're right, because there's no time to reschedule it again. I don't know how to tell you this, but Melina got stuck in LA traffic and she missed her flight. 
And since the match contract says specifically that you're facing MNM, Mercury, Nitro, and Molina, it's just not gonna happen tonight. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, sorry about WrestleMania clowns, but there's always next year and... Now hold on a minute, players. I promise these superstars and these fans a number one contenders match, and that's exactly what they're gonna get. But Teddy, Steven's looking at your screenplay right now. The hell with that, Nitro. You're gonna get in that ring right now and wrestle, or I'm stripping you of the tag team title. But Teddy, the match contract... You mentioned that contract one more time, Mercury, and I'm gonna stick it right up your butt. Exactly. Get into that ring now. Well, General Manager Teddy Long has finally put his foot down. It looks like we're getting our number one contender match after all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to sunny San Jose, California. You're not going to believe what we've got for you tonight. No doubt, Cole. Tonight's show is completely off the hook as we do. <laughs> got that right. And so are these San Jose fans. They can't wait to see the SmackDown superstars in action, and neither can I. Cross is called a finisher, doesn't mean it always ends the match. It sounds like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. But if I locked in the Taz mission, that was it. End of story. was all. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. This has been a great match so far. And I think it's pretty obvious. I've been locked in this hole before, and it hurts even worse than it looks. I can't even imagine the amount of pain that this hole must inflict on any superstar who winds up in it. This capacity crowd is making their opinion. He anticipated that move perfectly. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. And here's the submission hole. What a deadly move for this is. Mm, not kidding, Cole. Oh, man. This is just about the last hole you want to find yourself in. I can imagine. Sure. You know, 
any time before these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed to get a hell of a show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. Man, this, I'll tell you what, man, this one's just turning into a fight. Not simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. Here's the pin. about superstars and we got a mouse to put in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Carl, this ain't ballet. You got a big man and he's so... He's got it for the pin! This could be it! Kicked out just in the nick of time. I love hearing the crowd come alive, even when I don't exactly agree with He wasted no time going for that pin. Come on. That had to be free. Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having it on the mat, shoulders down. This could be it. They've done it. They're going to WrestleMania to compete for the tag team titles on the biggest stage of them all. And they already beat the champs once. That gives them a huge head of steam going into WrestleMania this Sunday. I can't wait. What's up, man? It's Ray. Listen, I guess you heard that Teddy Long turned our match into a ladder match for the tag team titles. I don't know about you, but that's just fine with me. It's not exactly my first one, you know. This is it, bro. WrestleMania. I know you're gonna give it everything you got, and you know you can count on me, dog. See you out there. Late. This is it, Taz. WrestleMania, the granddaddy of them all, is finally here. And the tag team titles are on the line in this very next match. Man, look at Rey Mysterio. He is so pumped up. And I'm pumped up, too. Everybody's pumped up. It's WrestleMania, baby.
You know, Taz, I'm sure there are many times when this man thought that his tag team title opportunity was never going to materialize. No doubt. It was kind of a rocky road getting here, but he's a man on a mission. You got to give him and Mysterio credit. They never backed down, and it got them all the way to the big dance. Eminem, the tag team champions, pulled every trick in the books to get out of this match, but to no avail. They spent weeks trying to use their alleged Hollywood connections to weasel their way out of this thing. But nevertheless, their tag team titles are on the line here tonight on the grandest stage of them all. Yeah, it's a ladder match to boot. And the titles are hanging high above the ring. I know Nitro and Mercury like to hang with the stars, but I hope for their sake, they're not scared of heights. Boy, this John Cena sure is one of the most exciting young prospects in all of WWE. Oh, come on, JR. John Cena's a thug. You know it. I know it. And all of these people know it. It makes me sick that he's allowed to be a WWE superstar. I don't know how you can say that, Keith. Cena has dedicated himself to entertaining these guys. And quite frankly, I find him to have more character than many so-called respectable superstars. There's a difference between entertaining the fans and setting up an example. There goes the referee! Oh man! And now there's no one to keep order in this matchup! Johnny Nitro has certainly proved himself as a tag team competitor on SmackDown, and he's distinguished himself as a single competitor. Hold on a second, JR. Every time I've heard you mention Nitro in the past, you complain about it. You can't have it both ways. I complain about Nitro's attitude. That's the only person who can which is considerable in my view. I don't know. He's got his opponent in position. I think he's going for it. No! It can't be! Not the FU! I think this crowd has decided to exercise their right of free speech. God bless the First Amendment, JR. This is going beyond just being a match here. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors. If looks could kill, well, somebody would be just an amazing fight. And you've got to admit, for a much more interesting match, JR. It sure does. But I just hope these superstars can settle their differences in the ring and leave their back. It looks like they've slowed the match down a little. And I think that's a good strategy right there. It certainly is. I'm sure they're well played with the old expression, fool brush it. There's not an L to quit of either superstar. But only one will remain on the ladder. Whoever loses this fight might just lose the match too, JR. the title, this one's over. Boy, what an incredible editor Rey Mysterio is. I'd have to say that down for pound, he might be the most exciting challenge in the They did it! They did it! We've got new tag team champions! That was a hell of a match!
And what a performance by the new champs. They might have just stolen the show right here. Looks like they'll have to cancel that giant Hollywood celebration tonight. Sorry for Eminem, but in any case, there's no doubt in my mind that this is going to go down as one of the greatest WrestleMania matches of all time. And I can't wait to see the new champions defend their titles. That's for sure. SmackDown has great new tag team champions.